recently installed Zubuntu 1604 on my internal drive and I thought I would take the opportunity to show how I tweaked my desktop. I'm going to right click on the desktop and go to desktop settings. I'm going to change the background now I'm going to get rid of the icons that are currently on the desktop I'd rather have just a clear desktop I'm going to go to the whisker menu. I like this menu, but it's backwards. I like to have the categories on the left and the details on the right. So I'm going to right click on the icon and then click on properties. I'm going to go to behavior and click on switch categories by hovering. It's already got position search entry next to panel button. I'm going to check position commands next to search entry and position categories next to panel button. And close. So now when I open it, the categories are on the left and the details are on the right. Now right now I have one panel at the top and it has the system tray on the right, the little symbol for simple screen recorder which I'm using. It has the open window which is simple screen recorder, it's minimized. And it has the menu on the left. I'm going to right click on the panel and click on Panel Preferences. Where it says Panel 0, I'm going to click on Plus, and I'm going to get a Panel 1. I'm going to drag this down near the bottom. Now the mode is horizontal. I'm not going to automatically hide the panel. I'm going to leave unchecked. Don't reserve space on borders, which means I do want to reserve space on borders so that the open window won't disappear under the panel. I'm going to change the size of the panel to about 24 pixels. Still one row, but the length is now 10%, and I'm going to make it 100%, so it covers the entire bottom. I'm also going to leave checked automatically increase the length. Under appearance, I'm going to leave it as it is, use the system style. I may change that later on. Now on items, I'm going to click on plus. I want to add some items to my panel. On the left, I'm going to add the show desktop icon. That's going to minimize all displayed windows. I'm going to click on add. And you see it appears down here at the lower left. Now I'm going to add a separator. Add. And 
temporarily I'm going to close this to see what I have. You know, the separator is in there. So I'm going to click on plus again. I'm going to add the window buttons, similar to what's now on the top, it shows the open applications. Click on add, and you see they appear on the bottom. And I'm going to add another separator. And at the far right, I'm going to add the workspace switcher. Click on Add and then Close. Now here's what I have. I seem to be missing a separator somewhere in here. Click on Add. Close. Now I have two separators. The one on the far right, which is the bottom here, I want to move that up. So I have a separator between my show desktop item and a separator on either side of window buttons. I'm going to close. The separators are hard to see here, but I'm going to right click on the one on the left. And un under Properties, I'm going to say Expand. And that pushes my window buttons all the way to the right. Now I'm going to click on the right-hand separator. And Properties. And Expand. Right, that pushes the window buttons to the middle. Now I'm going to right-click on the Workspace Switcher and click on Properties. I'm going to keep it one row. I'm going to leave Check Show Miniature View. It shows a little symbol of what's on the Workspace. I'm going to click on Workspace Settings and I'm going to change the number of workspaces to four. I'm not going to give them any names. Now, since I have the window buttons down below, I certainly don't need them up above, too. I'm going to right-click on the top panel, go to Panel, and Panel Preferences. Then I'm going to go to Items. And here under Window Buttons, I'm going to click on that and select the minus sign. Are you sure you want to remove window buttons? Remove. So now I have the whisker menu on the left, a separator, a notification area, a power manager plug-in, an indicator plug-in, another separator, and then the clock. Now I'm going to add some launchers to the top panel. Accessories. I'm going to add the calculator. Now how to do that is to right click on the item and then say add to panel. You could also add it to the desktop. It asks you which panel and I'm going to say panel zero, the one on top. It adds it way over to the right, but that's all right. I'm going to move it. I'm going to add a file manager, add to panel, 
I'm going to add the mouse pad, the little text editor, add to panel. I'm going to add screenshot, add to panel, add to panel. I installed Simple Screen Recorder, and I'm going to add that to the panel. Add to panel. Now I'm going to move each one of these over to the left. Move. One thing I like about the Whisker menu is you can find things just by typing, if you wish. So I type TR and I get transmission. That's the BitTorrent client. I'm not going to use it now. I'm going to open a couple of items This is the GNOME calculator, and it's in basic mode. I'm going to put it in advanced mode because this has a conversion utility built in, degrees to radians, etc. While I'm on Workspace One, I'm going to open a terminal emulator, and let's see, I'm going to open mouse pad, the little text editor. Now, when I drag this to the upper right, it fills up one quarter of the screen. Same for this. If I drag it toward the middle of the right-hand screen, it fills up half the screen. I drag either one to the top. Fills up the whole screen. When I drag them to the middle of the display, they revert to their original size. These are window snaps. Now I'm going to click on workspace number two. I'm going to open the file manager on workspace number two. I'm going to give it about half the screen. Now, I don't like those little icons. They take up too much space. They're useless. So I'm going to click on edit preferences. View new folders using, and I'm going to click on Detail List View. This will make that work for all instances of the file manager. But I'll have to restart it to activate it. If I just use View up here and I say View as Detail List, that's fine for now, but it won't affect other instances of the file manager. Now I'm going to get the file manager back, and it shows the detailed list view. Now I'm on Workspace 2. If I click on Workspace 1, I get the items that are open there. Simple Screen Recorder is minimized, but if I click on that button, it will appear, and when I click on the button again, it will disappear. 
Likewise, I can make the terminal emulator disappear, but it has to be on top before it will disappear. To make it reappear again, I click on the mouse pad button, and the first time it puts the window on top, and the second time it minimizes it. So this is basically how I configure my Zubuntu 1604 desktop. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.